Hi, my name is Yulia Rabaiva, and I did my food project on kefir. So kefir is a fermented milk product um, that is distinguished from other such products by the exclusive use of kefir grain. It's really popular in Eastern European countries, especially those of the former Soviet Union. And kind of the best known role of kefir is its beneficial action in the gut. So, kefir is a mixture, again, of the kefir grains and different types of milk. Um, lots of different types of milk can be used, such as cow, goat, sheep, and coconut. However, soy and rice milk can also be used and is used by different cultures or people with dietary restrictions. Now, the kefir grains, which you can see to your right, uh, they kind of look like cauliflower, and they're a mixture of bacteria and yeast that are held in these small balls. And once after the fermentation process, you get an end product that's um, creamy, thick, um, sour, and naturally carbonated, which makes it very pleasant to the consumer. So it's thought that kefir originates from the Caucasian mountains. Um, one story goes that an angel actually taught Abraham the technique of making fermented drinks, which would include kefir. Um, and it was often regarded in the old times as a champagne of milk. It was really highly um, valued. It was also called by some the drink of the prophet because it was said that Muhammad was actually the person to uh, discover the grains and um, show his followers how to make the drink. Kefir actually originates from the Turkish language and means feel good, presumably from the effect you get after drinking the drink. <clears throat> However, Eli Mechnikov really popularized, popularized the um, kefir and kind of the idea of fermented milks when he published his book, The, Pro uh, the Prolongation of Life. And he had gone to the Balkans and studied the longevity and health of the people there and related it to their high consumption of fermented milks. And he did a lot of experiments um, looking at the lactic acid microbes found in the um, fermented milks, and their symbiotic relation with gut microbes found naturally in our stomach. So, um, kefir is really um, traditionally used in lots of cultures. Um, this can be seen by the um, different meanings kefir actually has. And a lot of this differs uh, by culture, by the type of milk that is added. Now, one traditional production of kefir um, was done in skin bags that actually were hung above the doorway. And every day, new milk or fresh milk was added to the kefir grains. And anyone who passed through the doorway had to either punch the bag or kick it. And this mixed the whole mixture together and um, carried on the fermentation process. Now, kefir was really popular um, to use in hospitals and sanatorias all through Russia. Um, and especially used to treat metabo uh, metabolic disorders, allergies, tuberculosis, and gastrointestinal disorders. And it was, especially, it was even used to treat more diseases in places where modern medicine um, hadn't been accessible yet. Um, and this really shows how kefir was really valued um, in the different cultures. And it was also used to wean children from uh, the mother's breast milk, and it's a, this is still um, done in modern Russia today. So the chemistry and pharmacology of kefir really depends on the starting products. So what type of milk is used and the kefir grains that are used that contain the bacteria and yeast. However, the end product is really high in amino acids, proteins, phosphorus, and calcium. And the bacteria, which are mostly part of the um, lactose family, are thought to um, give off the probiotic and beneficial effects. However, the yeast, which produces the carbon dioxide and other um, end products found in kefir, um, recent research has shown that it's just as important in providing the beneficial roles uh, found in kefir. So as mentioned before, it's a probiotic, meaning that kefir contains live organisms that can exert health benefits beyond basic caloric value after consumption. 
and in one study they found that lactose intolerance individuals who consume kefir over a period of time actually increase their lactose tolerance and can consume more milk products without um, stomach um, issues. Now, one uh, NAUS model of GR thesis, which is a gastrointestinal um, disease uh, found all over the world, actually showed that kefir um, was able to help treat this and there was less intestinal destruction after kefir consumption and that there was a high amount of T cells and inflammatory cytokines which showed that the inflammatory um, or the immune response is really activated by kefir. Other studies have shown that kefir is anti-carcinogenic, antimicrobial, antioxidant, anti-allergic, and anti-diabetic. So it has a really wide range of beneficial effects which um, have been used over lots of centuries by people um, all over Eastern Europe. So the economic impact, about 65% of Europe's functional food is actually milk products, and kefir would uh, fall under this umbrella. Now, Yakult, which is the um, kefir form in the United Kingdom, the company was actually able to grow to about 7.2 million pounds in just a couple of years because of the popularity of kefir. Now, in the United States, LifeWay is the main uh, producer of kefir. And kind of really what gained the popularity was the invention of sweeteners and the addition of fruit to kefir because it is um, naturally a bit sour. So by the addition of sweeteners, it um, is a little more easy for consumers who are not used to it to enjoy. So there still needs to be a lot more education on kefir's beneficial roles um, to make it a little less foreign um, to the Western culture. However, traditional knowledge also needs to be preserved. I remember growing up with my grandma and my mom always milking milk um, from scratch at home. Um, and it's really a part of the culture of many countries. Now, because of its really beneficial role in the gastrointestinal system, more research needs to be done really kind of on um, the more biological and mechanisms that kefir actually um, is able to produce this. And here are my references. Thank you.